Hi friends, how are you? Welcome to this video. In this video, we will try to find out how the shell works. So, I'm going to show you in a step by step way how the shell executes a command. So, we have opened a terminal here and I'm using bash. So, let us just check the process ID of bash here. So, now I have tried to grab the processes uh, that bash is uh, using now you can see here the second one this line uh, there are two IDs here this is the process ID and this is the parent processor ID of bash so let's find out what uh, is the parent of bash here so I will just grab this process ID and you can see uh, I'm using the XFCE4 terminal so this is the terminal which is being invoked and this is the process ID and it has opened two programs you can say genome PTY helper and then the bash and the third function that uh, I'm using or you can say application that I'm using is the grep which is here which has uh, you can say this matching function so when I have searched for this 29474 okay so you can see here we have the parent process ID of XFC4 terminal this is the terminal that I am using and then the bash has the uh, its own process ID and then it has the parent process ID so as you can understand with this whenever you open the terminal suppose I go to application and open the terminal emulator it will create a new process if I just try to grab bash again so you will see there is another uh, you can say bash process here which was not non-existent before with the same you can say the parent process ID and if you try to grab it you will see it's it's pointing towards XFC4 terminal which is the terminal that I have used so what happens when uh, whenever you type a command and uh, and say on uh, the bash terminal or the bash I uh, should say shell here because the terminal is the XFC4 terminal which I'm using so we have the X XFCE4 terminal and then we have bash and then whenever you fire a command it will you can say create a process for that command so let's try out what will we will do we will just check again with bash and we will search for this ID this is the ID for bash here okay so you can see here I have two processes here 29480 is the process ID for bash then I have executed a command ps sorry hyphen ef and the third a command is grep and color auto hyphen i29480 so this actually tells us a lot of things so whenever you type a command suppose I've typed ps hyphen ef with a uh, you can say input output regulator and this is the pipe symbol here and I've processed the output of this command as an input for this command so what happens the bash when we press enter takes this complete string and breaks it into tokens so first token would be ps and then it checks whether it's a, it's an alias or not if we check our alias here so we'll see there is no alias for ps so it will move for the actual program ps which is defined if you can see here so this is the PS uh, you can say the program which is being used then it reads the next uh, you can say argument which is being fetched to this program so we have a complete uh, you can say command which uh, invokes the program and supplies some argument to it then the process uh, the output of this uh, process is fetched to this another program grep 
but whenever you, this input is being processed there is a new process ID being created 29637 for this case for PS hyphen EF with a parent process ID of bash and this is then supplied to the kernel which processes this command and gives the output as well as the you can say the exit status of this command uh, a well written unix program will give an <coughs> sorry exit status of zero so whenever you type a command ps hyphen ef and it has been processed uh, correctly it will give you uh, an exit status of zero that it has properly exited without any errors so now this is the parent process id so the kernel will inform the parent process that this program has been executed successfully and the bash will know that it has executed successfully and then it will pass this the output to the second uh, you can say token that is grep and it will process it accordingly by the kernel and then the output will again pass to the bash with the exit status 0 and we will have this output displayed over the terminal so this is the complete you can say uh, uh, the steps for uh, a bash or a shell reading a program I can show you again just for visiting back what we try to understand so first of all the shell reads a string you can say it breaks into tokens check for the first word if it is an alias if it is accordingly it will process process the program supply the arguments so here we have the child process created child process executed okay inform parent process with output and exit code and the eighth one would be perform input output redirection as necessary so this is the complete eight steps for the way a shell works and it executes the command in case you have any questions or query you can drop in the comment box and i would be happy to help you thanks for watching this video have a great day